Happy New Year. I'm Brandon. And I'm Mom. Happy New Year. I'm very excited for us to get into this episode. So I am Brandon, and I am a graduate student studying lifespan and digital communication, and I have a bachelor degree in media studies. And I'm Mom. I am a full-time, I have a full-time job, and then in my spare time, I enjoy watching TV with my children, along with, um, with reading. Yeah, and I am always excited to do Tanson Talks TV with you, Mom. And what show are we speaking about here today? Today, we're going to talk about Extended Family. Yes, Extended Family is a new series airing on NBC. It just had its pilot episode that we were speaking about on December 23rd, 2023, and is produced by Warner Entertainment, Lionsgate Television, and Universal Television. And Mom, if you can give us a synopsis. I sure will. And I'm just going to talk just about what the episode is about. Um, for this particular episode, um, the father, whose name is Jim, was asked to watch the goldfish, goldfish of his daughter while she was out of town. Um, the goldfish actually dies in the care of the fam of the father, and the family tries to decide if they need to tell the daughter the truth or whether or not they're going to lie about what happened to the goldfish. Well, thank you, Mom, for the synopsis. You are welcome, Brandon. Yes, and from watching this first episode, what were your top takeaways from watching? All right. And Brandon, what we did previously during our um, holiday specials is that I had a top 10. And so I thought I would kind of keep a top 10 list um, for some of our future episodes. And so for this particular episode, the top 10 that I want to concentrate on is because it is a premiere episode is what did I learn from this premiere episode? Um, besides, of course, taking away from the synopsis. So what did I learn? First of all, number one, um, I learned that the characters may possibly speak to the audience to describe their particular episode. In this episode, they did break the fourth wall and spoke directly to their viewing audience, which I thought was very helpful to, to let us know what exactly is the background of this particular family. Um, we learned that the parents' names were Jim and Julia Kearney, and they were married for 17 years and are now recently divorced. Um, we also learned that they are very happy about their divorce and held a party to celebrate this. We learned that Jim and Julia have two children. Um, they have a daughter named Grace, who's 13 and a half, and, they, and the half is very important, according to Grace. And then we also know that they have a son named Jimmy, who is the younger son, and this Jimmy is younger than Grace. Um, we learned that Julia has a new man, and his name is Trey Taylor. Um, we learned that Trey is the owner of the Boston Celtics. And since this was mentioned several times that he was the owner of the Boston Celtics, I'm assuming that this is going to be used for future episodes or different plot devices throughout the series. Um, and if I were to predict a little bit, and keep in mind it's just a prediction, I don't know anything, I would predict that there might be some possible athletic cameos just because they keep mentioning the Boston Celtics over and over again. Um, we learned that Julia is a is a crisis manager and we find out later in this particular episode that um it is very important that julia is a crisis manager because this is how she and trey met each other um, we learn that their daughter grace has issues with the divorce and that comes out throughout this episode also we learn that trey and julia plan to marry which is a surprise for their daughter and um but they do plan to marry and then we also are introduced to, and this is number 10 for me, we're introduced to Bobby, who is Jim's father. In, in this particular episode, he provides comic relief. And so I predict that he will provide some comic relief um, with the situations. And we know that he has a so-so relationship with Julia. And that my prediction is that um, Bobby will be there in general just to provide advice, whether good or bad, to their particular family. And so one of the things that I kind of noticed about premiere episodes is that it's got to lay the groundwork. And this is just for this particular episode, this is some of the groundwork that I think was kind of laid there for the audience. And it'd be interesting to see if our, any of our audience itself um, thinks that I missed anything for just some general things. If so, please mark in the comments, let you let us know. What do you think some of our um, some something that I missed or do you think will happen based upon some of the things that I've that I've kind of noted? Over this first episode, you're able to see the different characters introduced 
within this series. And you're able to see that Google's The Goldfish is used as a plot device to introduce the characters, as well as the motivations of each of the primary cast members. And overall, it's really fun to see how the characters um, are brought together and how their and how their daughter Grace is able to be the one to bring them all together. And it's really interesting to see how they all communicate with one another. And and yeah, this makes for a solid first episode. It does. It does. So mom, now that we have watched this pilot episode of Extended Family, what are your thoughts about the episode? You know what, Brandon? I did like the episode. Um, for first episode, I thought they did a really nice job. They introduced the characters very well, kind of like you've mentioned. Um, I thought they did a good job. The plot itself, I mean, the plot is, I'll be honest, it's cheesy. It's a cheesy plot that we've seen done before. But they did a good job of actually just bringing everyone together and introducing the um, uh, how, we bo- how we think the series might kind of go along a little later. Um, I like that they told the backstory for them, which I thought was incredibly important. And, um, the backstory was done very nicely with, um, just by, as I kind of mentioned with, um, Julia being a crisis manager and how she had to help Trey during a crisis situation and kind of showing how that's how they met and how they came to know each other. And I thought they did a nice job with that. And then you're right with Grace having her little breakdown, um, with Google's the fish, um, it showed how important family meant to them and what they were doing to try to, as a family, be together at this time period. Yeah, and something that stood out to me at the very beginning of this episode is that it had a theme song, a proper theme song. That Yes, Brandon, it did have a proper theme song, and I was very, very happy to see that it had a proper theme song. You know how I feel about that. In fact, I thought it was kind of refreshing. This theme song had words, it had pictures, it had names, meaning that... Um, there were, um, for pictures, they were, they showed the cast. It actually gave the names of the cast members to the audience so that you would know who the stars of this particular show was. Um, the words itself actually told a little bit about the episode. It told, a, it kind of, it said that they were divorced and that they were working together as a new type of family. And so I think it was really important that they actually established that early and hopefully they'll continue with the theme song um you've mentioned before the theme song doesn't always last but hopefully it will yeah i hope it does too and it really does do in my opinion a great job with storytelling too and we spoke about some of our shows mainly the 1960s shows where you know where the theme song sort of tells the story of you know of the show and what's going on with it so i think this sort of comes to the roots of that yep it sure did it sure did with a little modern take to it but yeah, but the primary theme for, you know, this theme song is We Thought We Were Done. Yeah, it is the primary theme of this particular theme song. But what's nice is that they said that even though they were done, they are going to work together as a new type of family. Yeah, and I think that is just such a great theme for this mm-hmm. series because I think it just does such a great job at at saying that just because we may look a little different, that we're still a family and we'll just work through the challenges together. Yes. It is. Yeah, and as a small tidbit for um, for viewers who have stuck around for, with us for a little while, um, we like to share our connections that we have with you know, with additional shows. And so this series is produced by Warner Entertainment. And so uh, Tom Warner, one of the executive producers, actually is one of the yeah the executive producers of a different show, uh, a different world as a part of uh, Carsey Warner. Yes, and I love a different world, Brandon. So it, it was so great when you told me that. Yeah. And I think it's another series out there that kind of produces also that we have not talked about on the show. I'm sorry. We've talked about it else, but I have not talked about it on the show. Yeah. Outside of that, um, Warner Entertainment is also the current producers of The Connors, um, which we have um, which, which we watch, but we have not yet spoken here on Tans and Talks TV. <laughs> yes. If there's a show you want us to talk about, let us know. Yes, definitely let us know. And, Mom, is there anything else that you want to discuss for this first episode? For this per- first episode, no. I I think we did a nice job discussing this, um, talking about the show. And um, I look forward to future episodes. 
yes, I look forward to them as well. And I guess that answers the question of, will we continue watching the series? I know that, um, I, yes, I will continue watching the series. I will. I will. Hopefully the audience will give it a chance, but I will continue watching the series. Yes, I will continue watching as well. And I'm very excited to see what's to come with it. And I hope for a long life for it. Yep, same here too. And if our audience has any other shows that they would like for us to watch, kind of like we say each time, you know, please put let us know in the comments. Um, if you th let us know your thoughts on this particular show in general, it's a new show for everyone. If you think the show will last, then put it in the comments. If not, let us know also. Yes, I definitely hope that you continue watching this series. It airs on NBC. And mom, I can't wait for our next episode of our series every Tuesday. Yep, same here. We look forward to speaking to everyone next Tuesday also. Yes, take care and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone.